Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial, and this time we are going to create rain, and we're going to cover what's needed, how to set it up, and all that good stuff, and as well, we're also going to add sound, because, you know, what's rain without sound, right? Okay, so let's go on ahead and prep the level for the rain, so I'm going to select my face edit sheet here. And I'm just going to select this face and then I'm going to, you know what, actually, I'm just going to turn this whole thing into a, uh, in, into a change. And we're just going to hit browse and I'm going to type skybox and then we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to select the tools skybox and we're going to hit apply. And if we go look out, the whole thing's a nice skybox. This is just to help me know so when I'm, you know, out and about and all way above i know that it's a skybox but technically you could just have one face be the skybox and this would work fine okay the next thing we need to do is we need to create a trigger and i'm just gonna cover this entire map kind of like this uh it's probably a little too big but you know what doesn't matter actually i'll bring it in just a little bit to kind of you know, make it a little bit more manageable, if you will. Uh, let's give it a little bit more. All right. And we'll hit enter. And now we'll hit control T. And we will scroll down for funk underscore precipitation. And we'll hit apply. By default, it will be set to rain. But you have snow, ash, snowfall, particle rain, ash, so on and so on. We're just going to leave it at rain. You can set the density, obviously 100 is very dense, zero less dense, and so on and so forth. But we're just going to leave it at the defaults for right now. And we're going to apply. Okay, so what are the next thing that we need? Um, so we have a sky, and that is a requirement for the rain. And now we need to talk about sound. So let's do environment underscore soundscape underscore triggerable. Now, we can pretty much put these kind of anywhere, uh, but I'm going to put them out here because, you know, this is kind of where we're doing the sounds. So, you know, why why not do them here? Okay. Awesome. And I'll start with the first one. And we're going to change the name to, um, I guess, interior. Oops, I spelled interior wrong. Uh, rain. Okay, because we want we want rain to essentially, you know, when we're not outside, we want a different rain sound. And for the radius, we're going to set it to negative one so that it's infinite. It can be heard literally anywhere. And now I'm going to switch over. I have a so there's a link in the description, which has all the different soundscapes. And I am going to use rain interior medium okay and we're going to change the soundscape and we're just going to do rain interior medium and apply okay that's all we need to do now for the other one we're going to do the same thing except we're going to call this exterior rain and i don't know why i put that there but okay fair enough we'll put it back to the, there and by the way, you can also trigger multiple sound effects. Uh, you know, you can use like multiple triggers and you could have like thunder and rain. Um, once you've once we've gotten to the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to pretty much do whatever. And I'm going to do rainwater. I don't know. Uh, what, I don't know which one I want. I think I will just do rainwater hard. Okay, perfect. And we will set the radius to one. I'm actually going to clear that space out. Oh, it did it for me. I'm going to hit apply. I'm just going to double check both of them. Awesome. So everything works as intended so far. Every, everything is set up exactly how we need it. Now let's talk about how rain works inside a source. So rain will automatically block anywhere there's a brush. So when you build stuff out of brushes and all that sort of stuff, uh, no rain. Anywhere under a skybox, though, there will be rain. 
And this means like if you have large meshes, like say like a, a trailer for like a truck, you're going to have to use a type of uh, brush called a funk underscore precipitation blocker. And basically what this does is it'll, you know, block rain, but that's all it literally does. And we're actually going to look at that in a little bit, but I just wanted to point, you know, that out. But anywhere we have, you know, a brush, there's not going to be any rain, which is exactly what we want. And so all we need to do now is actually, actually, you know what? Let's go on ahead and build the funk blocker. So I don't want any rain on this uh, elevator. No rain. We, we do no rain. So we're just going to create a brand new brush. And it goes all the way up to perfect. And we're going to hit enter. And we're just going to hit Control T. And then we're going to look. There it is. Funk precipitation blocker. We will hit apply. And that's it. Now, anything in that square will uh, block rain. No rain will appear there. It's uh, quite easy. But now for the tricky part. And I put that in quotes. We need to do sound. So for sound, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag out another brush. And I'm going to drag this brush to be roughly the size of our uh, little area in here. And I did not have brush select on. And you could, you know, honestly, one thing you could do is you could make it, you know, kind of like the size of the door. You need it to have a little bit of distance because of the, um, you know, like the, like it, it needs a bit of time to like trigger. So I found that you know, it being actually, you know what, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's just make it like the size of the doorway, so to speak. Um, there we go. And we'll just hit enter. And now we'll double click on this and we'll hit control T and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we are going to make it a trigger soundscape and we're going to hit apply. And then for the soundscape, we're going to make it exterior rain. And we're going to hit apply again. And now we're going to go into the outputs. And we're going to actually add two outputs here. And we're going to say on start touch all. Or yeah, on start touch is fine. And then exterior rain. And we want it enabled. And now we're going to add another one. And we're going to do on start touch. Interior rain. Disabled. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to swap. Um, and we do need the soundscape here to be set to exterior rain. And then for these two, it'll just, it'll swap them. And we'll hit apply. Awesome. And then now what we're going to do is we're just going to make another one pretty much right here. And we don't want that. So we're just going to drag it up. And we're going to drag it up to here. We're going to hit enter. And I have absolutely no idea where that thing even is or where it was just placed. Hang on. What? Oh. My bad. Okay, let's make sure it didn't remove anything. And let's just re-add that, if you will. Perfect. Okay, and we'll hit enter, and we'll right click, go to properties, control T, and we'll scroll down, and we will make it a trigger soundscape, and we'll hit apply, and then go to the soundscape, and this one will be interior ring, and for the output, we're just gonna, same thing as last time, on star touch, exterior ring, disable, on start touch, interior rain, enable. Awesome. And now what we're going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this over here. And we're going to make it pretty much the size of this room. Now, the reason we're doing this is because what we want it to do is we want it to start, you know, basically where we start. And we'll probably, you know, you'll probably never go back. But either way, it's set up appropriately. It doesn't really matter. 
And then when you swap between here and here, it should just, uh, you know, enable the sound and everything. And now we're going to test it to make sure that, you know, we don't have to uh, go and drag out like a massive uh, trigger brush, which is fine if we do, you know, so no big deal. And we just wait and wait. I'm actually going to swap back over here so I can see OBS. Ah, there we go. You might not be able to hear it because I don't know how loud it is, but there's rain. And now we'll go over here. And we'll go out here. The rain's much, much louder. And we'll go in here. And the rain fades out. And we have now successfully created the trigger. And if we go out here and we stand on this, there's no rain. We go over here, there's rain. There's no rain over here. But we can't see the rain, which is pretty darn cool. And there you have it. And in fact, you know, you could also create a second trigger here to have like, you know, a different sound effect because there's all different kinds of rain. So like, you know, if you had a metal structure like a trailer, you could have it trigger a new sound effect where... You know, it's, um, I don't know, uh, you know, like rain hitting metal or wood or whatever. There's a whole lot of sound effects. You can, you can check the list that I gave you, but it will pretty much carry on indefinitely forever. And that, that looks hilarious, by the way, <laughs> should probably fix that. Yeah, I should probably fix that, but it's just fine for a tutorial level. But as you go in here, you know, the hard rain stays and yeah and that's easily fixable by doing literally the exact same thing that we did down there okay so that's it for this tutorial uh if you guys like this be sure to subscribe like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you would like to support this channel you become a member over at patreon or you can become a member at youtube and get all these videos uh, early before everyone else. And I will see you all in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RTL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.